I'm gonna give you the sucker. They got some demands. I'm thinking Lily Hammer. You give us Aldo DeLucci, and we'll send you to the goddamn North Pole. Why the f do you want to go there? Didn't you see the Olympics in 94? Clean air, fresh white snow, gorgeous broads. It was beautiful. Uh, you must be the new neighbor. Giovanni Hankerson. <laughs> oh, you're in the postal service. I'm chief of police. OK. <laughs> you got me living in the projects next to the chief of police, driving a sewing machine. I gave you Aldo and the Lucci. So in your new series, Lillehammer, which is uh, available in its entirety on Netflix at the moment, um, you play Frank the Fixer Tagliani. Uh, can you explain the concept for any of our viewers who are unfamiliar with the series? Gangster goes on a witness protection program <laughs> and chooses Lillehammer Norway because uh, he's a guy who gets along with everybody. You know, everybody loves him. You know, he's one of those guys. You know, he's like a uh, underboss to a family. Unnamed family, yeah. uh, you know, and, and suddenly the boss dies, and uh, and the commission passes over him and goes to uh, the former boss's brother, who's more of an accountant type, a really street guy, yeah, and gets intimidated by how popular Frank is and tries to kill him. So all of a sudden. This guy who gets along with everybody, uh, suddenly somebody's trying to assassinate him, and he, <laughs> he kind of overreacts and says, uh, I'm not going to Utah, I'm not going to Nevada, I'm going to, I'm getting out of the country, so he, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he goes uh, to Norway, he, he watched the Olympics in 94 and fell in love with it. That's the, that's, the, that's the premise. Seventeen years later. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and he and he's been studying it, so he so he understands Norwegian but doesn't speak it, which is mm -hmm. where it starts to get interesting, I think, for a lot of the American audience that, that maybe not may not like subtitles completely. Yeah. Uh, it's the first time that I can recall uh, where you have you know mostly subtitles, but the lead guy is speaking English, so <laughs> kind of draws you in. I think a little bit quicker. Has a nice effect. Seems to be an experiment that works. In other words, I, I think. Yeah, I think uh, I think the idea of the fish out of water plot uh, sort of gets a twist with the language barrier and the way you guys play with that mm. um, and sort of use it for comedic effect. Um, now, I wanted to ask you though uh, about this sort of further. Uh, most of your co-stars and your co-writers are Norwegian. Um, so, what are the, some of the challenges going from playing Silvio Dante in The Sopranos, um, you know, which is a series drenched in Americana? Um, to, play, to writing and acting uh, in a series uh, sort of more international in tone? Well, a whole lot of differences, obviously. Yeah. Um, well, starting with the writing, we, 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 uh, my, my whole thing was to make sure that we did not uh, worry about the international tone of it, mm -hmm. you know, which came up in the discussions. And I just felt, uh, let's make it as Norwegian as possible, which I think in the end will make it more universal, ironically. Yeah. Uh, as, as I watched Bruce Springsteen and David Chase do with their work. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the more uh, particular and uh, detailed they get, uh, the more universal it seems to be, uh, which, you know, uh, 